Hey, what's up? So, I've got a new version of the Quick Sticker add-on. It is going to be available for download on Gumroad. It's already released on my Patreon, but it's got a few new features. First one is I imported um, a couple more stickers. We got these ones down here now, so 50 more. And we also have all this graffiti and all these random wall grunge. Now, uh, you'll notice I have these duplicated twice. That's because one of them is a little bit higher poly, one of them is lower poly, which is meant to be used on flat surfaces, such as this one. Uh, in Eevee, you can see it's got a little bit of a, an issue with overlapping faces. However, in Cycles, it works just fine. You'll notice at the top, we have this little stickers panel up here. It's in the sidebar for Blender, and uh, it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to just add stickers to things. So before you had to go in individually and click on this stuff, um, add modifier, geometry node, find your stickers. Uh, now we have simple stickers and regular stickers. So on flat surfaces, I would recommend adding simple stickers. And if we increase this factor, we'll start to see a bunch of them. And it's that easy. Still have all the same controls for the most part. Uh, however, we also have this density mask and this rotation value so we can have all these stickers not rotate or rotate a bunch. I prefer rotating them a little bit, but uh, with the graffiti, I can see why you wouldn't want to. You can switch the sticker collection pretty easily. Just click on this collection drop down and switch to graffiti or whatever you want. And we can turn off that rotation, have it all facing upward like that. And then uh, once you have all your stickers on there, if you want, you can apply them and go up here and just dissolve the stickers and it'll lower the vertice count uh, by a significant amount. You can also delete them after you've applied them. So it'll take all the stickers, delete the materials off, and delete those objects. So now you have a fresh new wall to work with. And the last main thing that I added, let's add some stickers to here. We'll add the regular kind for now. And let me just increase this factor a little bit. We'll change it to graffiti so it's a lot more noticeable. Is under this density mask, we can take that out and we can go into, we'll say weight paint mode. I'm gonna turn off this geometry node just so we can see everything. I'm gonna paint over where I want graffiti to be. So we'll say right here is the only place I want graffiti to be. Let's turn this on, go back to object mode. And if I go down here and use my uh, point group, you'll see once we uh, increase the sticker density, graffiti is only gonna spawn in this area. As you can see, it corresponds with our weight painting for the most part, and you only have stickers spawn there, so you can get a little bit more artistic with it. And yeah, there's a little bit more control. Um, in order to use this in other areas, let me show you just how to do that. So here we have our new file. What we're gonna do is we are going to just add in our cylinder. And uh, when you're ready and you have your objects, First, you're gonna have to go to Edit Preferences and enable the Stickers add-on. So all you gotta do is find your Quick Stickers file and enable this, this uh, Python script. And once you enable that, just search up Stickers and enable the Stickers add-on. Now, uh, none of this stuff is gonna work just yet because we don't have any stickers in here. So what we gotta do is File, Append, and simply just Append, go find the Quick Stickers add-on tab, click Stickers, Go down to node tree and import these two. And it'll import all of your stickers in. And uh, once you're ready, let's just add some stickers. And we will turn up the sticker density. I'm going to change it to graffiti for now so we can see it. And play around with the center scale. And there we go. Now, I got quite a large cylinder here, so I'm going to bring that down. Now, like before, the uh, stickers are based on the size of the mesh for one and two the amount of geometry in the mesh so obviously if you want to turn up this clumping factor and stuff you're going to get long streaks if you choose to bevel this mesh a few times or give it a bit more geometry to work with then your clumps are going to be a little bit more uh, displaced in different areas so i can turn on the center scale bring the center height down a little bit or do whatever i really want with it and the clumps will be different so anyway, everything there is the same, and that's pretty much it. If you want to download this, it's going to be available on Gumroad. It's also available on my Patreon. Patreon includes the tutorials and everything. This probably won't get too many more updates, so 
You can add your own stickers in, by the way. If you like, you just gotta make sure to put them into these collections here, stickers, simple graffiti, graffiti, any of these types, depending on which one you want. Uh, so if you make new stickers, add them to this collection. Make sure nothing else is added to the collection, otherwise it uh, will not work correctly. You'll be instancing different objects onto these walls. And so I'll add a text file into the code in order to uh, edit it so that these work if you choose to add your own stickers. Basically, it'll, I'll just have a text file into it and I'll show you where to edit it. Uh, it's super simple. So yeah, if you mess anything up, send me an email or if you're on Patreon, DM me on Patreon. Anyway, I'll see everyone later and I hope you have a good day.